What a delightful time in Austin. I ended up hanging around for a couple of days to get some stuff done and see some things. First priority was the handlebars. I knew I wanted them kind of more comfortable generally. So we went with these salsa cow chippers and then raised them up. So we're a bit more grampy and a little less Lance Armstrong, which uh, I'm hoping will do the trick for the rest of the tour. Um, apart from that, we were kind of biking around town, checked out Barton Springs with some friends, and uh, even went to a metal show, which uh, was pretty fun. But now it's time to get back on the road. Um, we're going to head 40 miles west today to Purden Alley State Park, where we've got a site for the night. Um, there'll be lots going on in the sky today. I think we've got a solar eclipse mid-afternoon, and then following that we've got some severe thunderstorms. So, great day to be camping. I was actually down this way uh, Saturday night out for a little bike ride and it's, uh, I gotta say, it's quite different Monday morning versus Saturday night. Wow, isn't that cool? So, I don't know what to expect. Wow, it is getting darker. Holy crow, this is crazy. <laughs> the lights are on. Here comes the sun. That was awesome. It's better than I expected. Okay. We're about, uh, I don't know how far, I think maybe 16 miles from uh, the state park. So uh, yeah, we'll just enjoy the second sunrise and uh, try to get there before the thunderstorm starts. Maybe I'd be able to ride the bike for a bit of it, but it's pretty rocky. I'm gonna set this up and then uh, meet you over there, cook some dinner. What we'll have is, uh, yeah, I've just discovered these. These are dangerous, I might get addicted. Uh, chicken breast in a can. We'll have that with some noodles. Just mix it all together. Hey, not too bad.
Just hung out in Johnson City for a little bit. Got everything charged up and then had a protein bar and a banana, so I think we're ready to get rolling. We're gonna be uh, aiming for a campground just east of Fredericksburg. Looks like a 30 mile ride. And uh, the rain's gone and the sun's shining, so no complaining here. Wow. Well, this is something different. I don't usually eat in here. That's not a good thing to be doing, eating in your tent. Like if you were doing this in bear territory, you would just be looking for trouble. But uh, we're in a little campground here and there's dogs everywhere. I feel uh, pretty well guarded. Apart from that, we're gonna just uh, have a couple of tortillas here. I'm definitely not gonna be using any open flame in here. That would just be bad news. I don't wanna end up with a uh, without a tent. <laughs> So I don't know what the deal was there. Google Maps and Komoot bike routes took me right through that ranch. And it was pretty nice up until uh, getting to that closed gate. So I uh, backtracked and made it back to the road. And then uh, 
rerouted. I just kept going along the road until it rerouted. And we added uh, 11 miles to the trip for the day, so 31 to go. It's 4 p.m. I don't know what I'll do, because ETA now is past uh, uh, sunset. So I definitely don't want to be driving around here in the dark. <laughs> 